Hit procedures. The surface swimmer will impose problems on you. Do not fight with the instructor or impose any problems on yourself. Hold on to your tanks and remain calm throughout the evolution. Do nothing until the imposer leaves. Do not come to your feet in any time. Ensure you maintain control of your tanks. Light hits. When the hit ends, come to a seated position while maintaining positive control of one tank shoulder strap. Reach back with that right hand and retrieve your air source. Insert the regulator into your mouth and execute a purge method. Trace your intermediate hose and give an okay to the safety diver, letting him know you are breathing off an unfouled regulator. Then, reach back, turn air all the way on and back a quarter turn and cycle the reserve. Ensure the reserve is in the up position. Next, begin fixing your tank straps, ensuring each strap is not twisted and contains a four finger quick release. Remember, two straps properly secured on the diver constitutes positive control. Once all straps are secure in the proper fashion, begin your five point checks. Once the five point check is conducted, give a final OK to the instructor. If you are missing a mask or fin at the end of the hit, it will be returned to you. Return to the seated position and don all equipment and give the instructor an OK. Moderate hit with tanks off to the side. When the hit ends, Come to a seated position while maintaining positive control of one tank shoulder strap. Look left, look right, and overhead. Then slash over your thighs three times. Grasp the manifold and guide the tanks into your lap. Wrap your legs around the tanks and retrieve your air source. Tanks off to the front. When the hit ends, start to come to a seated position while maintaining positive control of one tank shoulder strap. While moving to a seated position, pull your tanks into your lap by the shoulder strap. Once in the lap, wrap your legs around the tanks and recover your air source. Moderate hit with tank on the back. When the hit ends, come to a seated position while maintaining positive control of one tank shoulder strap. Attempt to retrieve air while the tanks are on your back. If this is possible, trace the hose and give an OK once breathing off an unfouled regulator. If possible, reach back and cycle the cylinder valve all the way on and back a quarter turn and cycle the reserve. If tanks and air source are inaccessible on the back, then undo the waist strap, grasp the manifold, look left, look right, and then overhead. Slash over your head three times. Guide the tanks over the head into your lap and wrap your legs around the tanks. If the air has not been retrieved yet, retrieve your air source. Trace the hose and give an okay once breathing off an unfouled regulator. Turn air all the way on and back a quarter turn and cycle the reserve. Ensure the reserve is in the up position.
Fix your shoulder straps, ensuring there are no twists, and they have four finger quick releases. Then bring the tanks into your body, slip your arms through the shoulder straps, past the elbows. Look left, look right, and overhead. Slash over your head three times. Guide your tanks over your head and down onto your back. Secure your waist strap with a proper quick release. Once five points are conducted, give a final okay to the instructor. Heavy hit. When the hit ends, come to a seated position while maintaining positive controls of one tank shoulder strap. Reach back and make an honest attempt to retrieve your air source. If the air source is fouled and cannot be retrieved, undo the waist strap and grasp the manifold. Look left, look right, and overhead. Slash over your head three times. Guide the tanks over your head into your lap and wrap your legs around the tanks. Make your best attempt to try to unfoul the intermediate hose enough to breathe off your regulator. If your intermediate hose is fouled, crack your cylinder valve open and make an attempt to breathe off your second stage. If you cannot breathe off the second stage, signal to a buddy breathe with an instructor. Continue to work on unfouling the intermediate hose. If needed, take breaths off second stage, then remove from mouth and continue to unfoul the intermediate hose. Once unfouled, trace the intermediate hose and give an OK to the safety diver. Turn air all the way on and back a quarter turn and cycle the reserve. Ensure the reserve is in the up position. Fix your shoulder straps, ensuring there are no twists and you have four finger quick releases. Then bring the tanks back into the body. Slip your arms through the shoulder straps, past the elbows. Look left, look right, look overhead, then slash over your head three times. Guide your tanks over your head and down onto your back. Secure your waist strap with a proper quick release. Once five points are conducted, give a final OK to the instructor. Double moderate hit. When the hit ends, come to a seated position, right thigh to right thigh with your buddy. Maintain positive control of one tank shoulder strap and one hand on your buddy's UDT vest. The buddy who received the light hit will reach back and retrieve his air source. This buddy needs to stand by holding his intermediate hose prepared to donate air with one hand and maintain positive control of his tanks with the other hand. The buddy who receives the moderate hit needs to recover his tanks into his laps using all proper ditching signals that may apply, while maintaining positive control of his manifold and recover his own air source. The moderate buddy will then crack on his cylinder valve and trace his immediate hose 
giving his buddy an OK when breathing off an unfouled regulator. The light head buddy will then trace his intermediate hose, give his buddy an OK, and then both buddies give the safety diver an OK. From here, both buddies will go back and turn their cylinder valves all the way on, back a quarter turn, and cycle the reserve. Each buddy will then work on their respective straps and conduct a seated five point on themselves. If one student gets done before the other, the one standing by will do so by holding his hands above his thighs while ensuring his buddy does not get separated. Once complete with the seated five point checks, both buddies will slap their thighs at the same time and move to their knees facing one another. Double heavy hit. When the hit ends, come to a seated position, right thigh to right thigh with your buddy. Maintain a positive control of one tank shoulder strap and one hand on your buddy's UDT vest. The buddy who received the light hit will reach back and retrieve his air source. This buddy needs to stand by holding his intermediate hose prepared to donate air with one hand and maintain positive control of his tanks with the other hand. The buddy who receives the heavy hit he needs to recover his tanks into his lap using all the proper ditching signals that may apply while maintaining positive control of his manifold. The buddy who received the heavy hit will then begin working the problem imposed on him. Buddy breathe with a buddy as necessary to solve the problem. <laughs> 